Lights, camera, action! We just arrived in Montreal, one of the most exquisite cities in all of North America. And for about three years now, I've wanted very badly to visit this city, so why don't we go explore? Or how they say it here in Montreal, Allez on y va. There's an age-old comparison in the Montreal bagel scene between St. Viator bagels and Fairmount. So we decided to give both of them a try and rate our experiences. After an hour-long walk, we landed on St. V, very hungry and excited. The shop was teeming with character and we ordered about five bagels. Right off the bat, our first impression for St. V, the bagels were warm, they were good, and they were very, very tasty. Eight out of 10. Then we made the about seven minute walk over to Fairmount in which Lauren stopped to buy this really cool ring. Pause for the ring. Fairmount also had a very classic feel to it and the girl from the register was from Denver so shout out to her. Final verdict for the comparison, they tie. <laughs> I'd rate both St. Viator and Fairmount 8 out of 10 with the slight edge to St. Viator because the interior was really vibey. All right, so I'm done with bagel eating. We're on our way to Essence right now. Our appointment's set. We're a little bit late right now. So I'm excited to check it out, man. Um, this is the first time going to Essence. It's about to be crazy. So I want to give you guys a bit of context about how shopping at Essence works. For me and Lauren, this was our first time ever doing a retail experience like this. And I kind of mentioned beforehand, you have to set an appointment, i.e. you have to go into Essence's webpage, pick out items that were on your wish list, and have them brought into the Essence retail store for you to try them on. And that's exactly what you're looking at right now. I mostly came in with the idea of looking for pants, looking for bottoms, and so I have a ton of bottoms. I have a few tops that I was interested in just trying. I probably wasn't going to buy them. I was more gung-ho about actually buying a pair of pants, and I also brought in a pair of Birkenstock Bostons, which you'll see in a second here. But overall, I think that the experience was really, really interesting. I did end up leaving with a couple pieces. Um, the Horego top, though, that I tried on was absolutely beautiful. If you don't know about Horego, it's akin to like a Bodhi. It's like a sister Bodhi brand in that kind of vibe that it gives off. I picked up these Yoji Yamamoto five panel jeans, as well as the Birkenstock Bossons, and it sent me back a few pesos. But one of the things that I loved about the experience is that you could pick items from the sale section on Essence, and that's exactly what I did. So all the items were sailed items that are all on sale, and that was a cool experience to be able to kind of go through while here in Montreal.
All right, today is the next day. I did not end up showing you guys the items I picked up from yesterday's Essence appointment, so I want to do that today. So far, Montreal has been a really, really great time, and I've enjoyed it mightily. Starting off, I'll show you. I picked up my first pair of Birkenstocks. These are Boston's, and I, you know, went into the appointment wanting to look at these because um, the way it works essentially is that when you go to Essence on appointment, you they go through your wish list and then they look at the items that you select for the appointment. And for this appointment, I wanted to check these out because they were on sale on Essence for about 20 or 30 percent off. And so I was like, you know what? If I can find these for a good discount, I might as well scoop them up. Size 45, perfect size for me. And this is my first pair of Burks. I know the mule kind of trend, or if you want to call it a trend, is kind of dissipating a little bit, but I'm incredibly excited to add these to my wardrobe. Like I said, first pair of Burks. Hopefully they break in very nicely. Got the brown, brown, like, I think, I believe this is a leather variant. Yeah, this has got to be leather right here. So yeah, these were a good pickup. So these are my newest pair of jeans. They are a Yoji Yamamoto five pocket indigo jean. And these really stuck out to me. Of all the items I put on my Essence wish list and looked at, I tried on all of them. I was looking for a new pair of pants <clears throat> because for me, I don't really have any like uber nice pairs of pants, right? I just have pants that are kind of, you know, in that traditional 50 to $60 range. And I've learned about pants exponentially from the point I buy, from the point of which I've originally bought those kind of more classic, um, more inexpensive pants. And so I wanted to give a different style of pant a try. These are, they look like on the back, really beautiful. I love the indigo coloring on this. And then what stuck out to me about these is the fact that how they fit, the waist is really, really nice on these. And then I do believe that they are a salvage pair of denim, which is really, really cool to see. I believe so. That to me would say that they are the way that the edges on the bottom of the, of the jeans. And these are made in Japan, legendary designer, Yoji Yamamoto, more famously known for his stuff with Y3. And I was like, you know what? I'm doing all this stuff on, Japanese Americana, Japanese streetwear. I need to, I need to actually step up and try to acquire something from the genre, right? This is what they look like all the way back here. Um, I'll show you guys what they look like on body as well, hopefully in B-roll. Hopefully I'm doing that. <laughs> but yeah, very excited for these two pickups. One of the things that I actually really loved about Montreal was the fact that during this time of the year, it's so lively. There's people literally shoulder to shoulder in the streets, celebrating, dancing, listening to music, having fun. And this is pretty typical of what you'd see in Montreal pre-pandemic because of all the festivals that take place during the summertime. And we had no really intention or idea that these were going on, really. Like, I really didn't plan this. 
maybe one festival was on our radar, but from Mural to Formula One to all the other festivals that were going on, it was really cool to see. And our time in Montreal wouldn't be complete without being able to see two of the most iconic Montrealers in Montreal. We have Kyron Warwick and we have Megan, AKA Playboy Maggie. Both of these people were incredibly genuine and it was really nice for them to treat us to a meal in their city. Um, I've looked up to Kyron for a long time in terms of what he's done on YouTube and his content and his style. And uh, being able to meet both of them was really, really fun. Overall, I've really enjoyed my time here in Montreal. It's been incredible to be able to experience the fashion, the food, and everything that comes along with being a Montrealer during the summertime. The festivals have been really fun. We've had a lot of great conversations with locals, whether they be about fashion or just about being in the city itself. And if you're curious about other places that we visited while we're here, I will be making a guide for my Instagram so you can follow me at DrewJoiner underscore. And hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity in 2022. So that means I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity to you. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful rest of your day. Abianto, peace. Yo, what is good, post vivid? I woke up a bit early to finish the editing for this video, so that's why I'm a bit bummy right now. Still in the Montreal Airbnb. You know how we get down. Bop! Oh my gosh, my fist looks giant today. Bop! Appreciate you guys so much. I got one question for you, and it comes from actually me watching Tristan Payne's videos, the What People Are Wearing series that he does. He's been asking people, what did you want to be when you were a kid? Like, what was your dream job as a kid? And I like that question, because it allows people to open up about the dreams that they used to have, and I love dreams. So for me, as a kid, my number one dream was to be in the NBA. I wanted to play basketball in the National Basketball Association, and um, I played Division One basketball, played high school ball, and got a lot of love for basketball. The Warriors just won the chip. My prediction was awfully wrong, if you saw my prediction. Um, but congrats to, him, to them. Fun fact, I actually got a chance to meet Steph Curry when I played Division One ball. Which was a while ago. Well, it was 2019, I think. Um, so, yeah. What is your dream job? What was your dream job? I'm curious to know.